It's six minutes after game time. We have one ref here roaming up, or warming, warming up. Tim Leary still waiting for the second official of the show. Mr. Calvin Casti, we are at the old base gymnasium. I think they're trying to call this the Crate Center now for some strange reason. That'll never happen. Too many of us already know where the Crate Center is. This is the old base gymnasium. And we're here for women's summer basketball, Peabody Women's League summer basketball. It's the Ducat's welding team and multimedia marketing coming up right here very shortly as soon as we get another referee on hometown cable. Johnny Ray Corrier was warming up with the team, but looks like she will not be participating in this game. She is no more than 13, and I imagine they must have some kind of a age minimum in this league. Looks like Tim Leary's going to go it alone here at 6.09 on the seventh day of the seventh month, 2004. It will be Chase against Corrier, but it's Rachel Corrier jumping center. <coughs> Courtney Corrier is on the bench over there. She twisted an ankle last week. And uh, not playing tonight, so that's a big blow to the Duquette's welding team. Opening tip comes to Jarvis. Brittany Jarvis pushes it up to Brittany Phillips. Now, Duquette's team working around the perimeter looking for an open shot. Winging the ball. Let's see, we've got Jarvis Phillips, Carrie Guerin, Rachel Corrier, and Abby Lambert on the floor for the white team. For multimedia, we've got Jess Herica, Danielle Castine, Miranda Perez, Brandy Bowman, and Tara Butler Chase. Green ball. 16 minute halves. Erica brings it down. Bowman goes underneath for Chase. Shot is missed. Knocked out of bounds by Perez. Jarvis will bring it up the floor. Slapped away. Recovered. Garen. Slides it over to Rachel Corrier. Shot is missed. Rebounded by Erica. She is double team. Comes out with the ball. Gives it to Bowman. Bowman. Looking for Paris, but Butler Chase thought it was for her and got a fingertip on the ball. And actually broke up the team's play. Phillips scores. First points of the game are on the scoreboard. Danielle Castine will bring it down. For those of you who haven't seen one of our games from here before or, or heard our explanation, we tape it from the side here because there are windows all around the court. And this is the only way we can uh, get a, a look at the players without a silhouette being involved. Castine ties up Lambert. It's a jump ball. Harris will inbound to Herica. Chase, top of the key, shot is missed, Bowman rebounds, no foul, Tim Leary here all alone, so he gets just uh, one angle, and Duquette's working the ball around, and Corrier hits this one, it's a three-pointer, so it's a five-nothing lead, Loppy inbound pass, and Jarvis is there to pick it up. Erica gets it into Castine. 7 0. Duquette's leading multimedia. The younger, more mobile Duquette's team. Steal there from Rachel Corrier. Bowman to Butler. Over to Erica.
And Garen sticks with it and comes up with his deal. Phillips pushes it outside to Lambert in the corner to Garen. No shot clap. Jarvis has to ditch it back outside. Harris strips it away from Garen. Erica, nothing there, pushes it back outside, slaps it over to Paris. Paris to the floor, gets a shot up. Rebounded by Corrier. Twelve minutes to go, seven nothing. We're in the first quarter. Lambert. Garen. And she scores, make it nine nothing. Erica to Perez, now to Castine for three. Too strong, rebounded by Jarvis. Corrier slides it over to Phillips, now Jarvis. Kristen Levine, along with the, uh, Katie Castine and Kelly Sheen, are in for the green team. Erica goes to Katie Castine. Sheen slides it over to Levine. Stolen away by Lambert. Up to Jarvis. Phillips with a shot. And a foul. First foul of the game, I believe. 9 nothing to score, 10-34 and counting here in the first half. Multimedia still looking for their first point. Here's Herica with a shot. It's off the rim. Lambert out let to Jarvis. Back to Lambert. For three. Short. And then taken away by Rachel Corrier. Eleven nothing as Rachel Collier puts it in. Levine brings it up. Shot is missed. Collier rebounds. Garen pushes it over to Jarvis. Garen hits the first. This is the second. Phillips is there for the rebound, but she gives it to Herrica. Sheen over to Katie Castine, off Tim Larry. Goes to Green. That's not a long shot. Sheen would put that. And the off Jarvis. Erica comes deep for Levine to Katie Castine. Now the Sheen back to Castine off the glass and in. And the green team is on the scoreboard. It's 12 2, 8 51, showing here in the first half. Garen will go to the line for two more. Drops the first in. And hits them both. It's a 14 to 2 advantage. Levine will bring it up. Bobs it to Katie Castine. She puts it up and bounces it in. It's 14 4. 8.35 to go in the half. C. 
see the ball rarely touching the floor uh, for the white team. Rachel Corrier to a little too generous there. Tried to lob it to Garen. Sheen comes up with it. No foul. Sheen follows and scores. And the basket will count. And she will go to the line for a three-point opportunity. 14-7. And Sheen makes it a three. We have eight minutes to go in the first half, so we are a quarter of the way into the game. Again, you see the white team moving that ball around. Ball not touching the floor. Erica with the ball. Over to Bowman. Sheen back out to Erica. Slides it over to Bowman. Blocked from behind by Lambert. Cast time with the put back and she is fouled. Katie Kerstein hits her second foul shot. Fourteen to eight ball game. That's good by Jarvis. It's a three pointer makes it seventeen to eight. Shot is missed, rebounded by Rachel Corrier. Corrier for three, nope, rebounded by Sheen. by my back with the ching and I just found a mosquito here. Well, if the camera is moving suddenly, it's because I'm battling a mosquito. Rachel Poye sticks with it. Let's see, you got Alex Forey and Dana Langlois is in. Chase put the shot up. Katie Castine puts it back in. Uh, let's see. Perez. Danielle Castine and Butler back in. Uh, Chase. Butler Chase. Back in for the green team. Corye. Off the fingers of Miranda Perez. Lambert tosses deep. Langlois will give to Rachel Corye. Corey puts it to the floor. A little Lambert. Rebounded by Katie Castine. Chase for the shot. In and out. Rebounded by Corey. Jarvis. Nice hustle by Katie Castine. They break up the play. Up to Chase. Back to Levine and the paint. Chase finds Paris. Paris shot is short. Chase rebounds. Not too many offensive rebounds for the green team. Shooting two. Garen back in. Chase hits. Jarvis will bring it up. Rejected by Perez. Castine up for Levine. Throws it up and in. Nice shot by Kristen Levine. 19 to 14. It's a five point game. 4.32 left in the half. Last time the green team closed the gap. 
white team went on a little scoring run. Jarvis scores. Make it 21-14. Castine to Castine underneath. Tended to Perez, knocked out by Langlois. 4-10 on the clock. Castine into Chase, and she scores. Twenty-one sixteen. Corey out to Lambert. Jarvis gives up her dribble. Just gonna stay in one spot and then just dribble it and stop, and you're gonna lose your dribble. Lambert shot is short. And uh, Forey sneaks in there and gets the rebound. That was a case of the green team not boxing out. Going for the ball and not keeping the other guy away. I think it's Phillips who just came back in. Forey for Lambert. Three eighteen. Three subs in for our multimedia. Multimedia is going to close in the gap. Rebounded by Sheen. Erica pushes it to Bowman. Stolen by Langlois. Lambert will bring it back. Lambert scores. This is a shot rebounded by Rachel Corrier. And Jarvis shot falls off the rim. Rebounded by Langlois. And Langlois will shoot two. 217 remaining in the half. Put your team back up by eight. 24-16. Katie Castine with the ball. A little too high for Perez. Rachel Corrier drives, reverse layup, missed, rebounded by Perez. No foul. Like it was all ball. Got only one ref here. You can get away a little more than you might otherwise. One twenty two remaining. Ball comes into Jarvis, and over and back. Over to Corrier. Langlois blocked. Harris comes out with it. Slides it over to Herrica. Harris for three. Shot is missed. Score holding at 24-16. We're down to 55 to go in the first half. I believe the white team to catch welding is unbeaten. Rebounded by Bowman. Perez up to Sheen. And for Bowman, it's out of bounds. Phillips back to Jarvis. 31 seconds to go and a half. Two 
two-pointer would make it a ten-point lead. Dukas will keep it. Ball went off multimedia. Phillips will inbound it. Comes deep for Jarvis. Flory swings it over. Langwell is tipped by Bowman. 11 seconds on the inbound. No shot. No basket. 24-16 is the halftime score. Duquette's Welding leading multimedia at the half on Hometown Cable. Duke gets ball to start the second half. They have the eight point lead and the ball. Garen to Lambert. Koye takes it to the hole and it's a ten point lead for Duquette's. Erica will bring it up. Really fast time, top of the key, all net. Jarvis will bring it up. Boy, a shot, rebounded to the fast time, out to Herica. Duquette's will bring it back. Corey to Karen. Looks like the defense got out of the way for her. Over to Sheen, back to Katie Castine, off her fingers. Picked up by Garen. Let's see, up to a 10 point lead here. The Jets could build up a, an insurmountable lead very quickly. Corey, I mean, uh, Corey follows the ball and gets it. Lambert with a shot. 31 to 18, 15 point lead. Or 13, 13 point lead, excuse me. Chase the shot, miss, rebounded by Corrier. Lambert well, shot is missed. Chase grabs, gives it to Erica. Push it up to Katie Castine. Throws up a left hander that's off the mark. Jarvis brings it back. Erica, good hustle. Up to Danielle Castine. Back to Herica. And Jarvis with the ball. No foul fouled. Heard the slap here, no harm, no foul. Garen shot, falls off the rim. Katie Castine with another rebound. Phillips in for Langlois. Perez in for Chase. All goes low. She misses a chippy. No, nope, that's Perez missing that chippy. Katie Castine now. Sheen, nobody can put it in. Here's Poirier. Jarvis. Phillips comes out with it. Okay, nice pass back to Phillips. Out for Lambert. Garen gets the rebound. Rebounded by Perez. Erica. A 
Clark is shot in and out. Lambert comes out with it. Over to Jarvis. Again, no shot clock. Garen hands off to Jarvis and she scores. 11.04 on the clock. And it's like a 15 point lead, 33 18. Now it's up to 15. Perez pushes it back out to Danielle Castine, over to Herica. That is missed. She misses the putback, and here comes Garen. Lambert for the shot. Rebound Herica, and over reach. Levine and Bowman in. 10.22 on the clock. Team down by 15. Erica over to Levine for three. Nope, short. Rebound of Katie Castine. Pass picked off. Shot is missed by Erica. And Jarvis gets the ball. Spins, pushes it back out to Jarvis. Erica steals it. Thrown way down the court. No chance for Levine to catch that one. For the shot. Rebound to Rachel Poirier. And Jarvis. Here comes Levine. Nine oh one remaining. Lambert brings it up. Corey to Corey. Lang lies in for Lambert. up with the ball, gives it out to Forey. Travis with a shot, follows the shot. Duquette's out hustling, out thinking the green team. Green team at time looks like five strangers out there. Of course the Cougars uh, White team is all Cougars and former Cougars, so they've all played together. Jarvis misses a shot. We got a haircut. Up to Bowman. Count the basket. Tim Leary making up the rules as he goes along here. Uh, he mistakenly was showing, thinking there was two shots. But 
there was only one shot because the basket counted. So it should have been a jump ball, and it would be Green's turn on the jump ball. Instead, he gave the team to the white team. He gave the ball to the white team. Levine throws it up. And Katie Castein questioned it. He said, oh, White's here already, waiting to put it inbound it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's just a summer league game and the 15 point difference in the score. You still uh, make the calls that you should make and play the rules that you should play. You don't make calls just because it's expedient to do so. Erica scores. Phillips to Garen. Six eleven remaining. Thirty-five twenty-two to score. Jarvis throws it in. Thirty-seven twenty-two. I have forty-eight to go. Rachel comes out with it. Lambert lays it in, 17 point lead now, and it's going to be more in a second. And there it is, 19 now. As Jarvis steals it, 41, 22, 5, 18 left in the game. Lambert over to Jarvis. Rebounded by Bowman. Out to Herrica. Chase pass right in the hands of Garen. Fifteen remaining. Forty-one twenty-four seventeen point lead for Duquette over multimedia. Nice block by Chase. Levine comes out with it. Double dribbles. Subs coming in. Herrick has played the whole second half and four minutes to go. She was ready to stay in there. Eight players, I want to get some playing time. Darren to Troyer, easy two. Uh, Levine forgot she's a guard here, she's running down the court. Last time, slapped away by Lambert. 19 point difference, 317 on the clock. Castine to Castine. 15 footer, nope. Kept alive by Sheen. Good hustle by Bowman. Well, it's picked up by Garen. Lambert gives to Corrier. Phillips with a shot, nope. Rebounded by Bowman. Up to Castine. Throws it up left-handed, off the rim. Garen with the rebound. Levine hustling back, stops Phillips. Garen throws it up to Jarvis. 
White team with all the dang in the world here at 247. They don't have to shoot. They can just run the clock out. Stolen by Sheen. Sheen stops and pops it in. 43-24, if that's accurate. Fifty-nine on the clock. And uh, now Chase comes back in, and Bowman will sit. Deep for Corrier. Corrier at the line. Get them both. Let's see, 45 to 26, 115 to go. Katie Castine with a three pointer. 45 to 29, 102 on the clock. Poirier brings it down. Castine up to Castine. Goes back to Castine, off the back of the iron, rebound by Lambert. And Jarvis will bring it up. 20 seconds to go. Ten. Forty-five, twenty-nine. Very fast game. Uh, barely, uh, maybe forty-five minutes or so of real time. A very fast ball game. Duquette's welding remains unbeaten. They defeat Multimedia Marketing by a forty-five, twenty-nine final. And that's the way it was. Peabody's Women's Summer League Basketball. On the 7th day of July 2004, thanks for watching and for those of you supporting viewer-supported local television, win or lose, TV that's worth your support, hometown cable.